Welcome back to the eDrive Innovation Challenge. We are at our penultimate challenge with only five innovators left in the competition. Last week, our innovators demonstrated their prototypes to the judges, Duncan Stewart and Jason Robinson. At the end of that challenge, two of the innovators were eliminated from the competition and one innovator walked away with our top innovator prize. The two innovators eliminated were your Kylie Walters, Imagine Auto, and Marlando Latouche, Locavore Limited. We've built such an amazing bond with all our innovators, and we know they'll take all they've learned from this competition and do amazing things to impact our country. Our top innovator for Challenge 4 still has a chance to impress the judges and walk away with the top prize. He is Nakeem Elliston from Eltec Company Limited. The judges were wowed by his prototype construction and detailed demonstration. Now, on to this week's challenge. This week, we have taken eDrive to school. We are at the University of the West Indies, Mona Faculty of Engineering. The top five must impress the students and faculty with a five minute presentation and prototype demonstration. Let's see how well they took the constructive feedback from our judges last week. My name is Nakeem Elliston, CEO and owner of Eltec Company Limited. My innovation is the Axal Flux motor. Today's motor and the conventional motor that we are aware of is a radial flux motor. That motor easily overheats, it's bulky, it has an efficiency of roughly 80%. We have range anxiety because of this very reason. Vehicle cannot go very far, motors overheating, and we're constantly on a treadmill trying to fix this issue. Now more than ever, when the electric vehicle industry is on a booming, the solution to this is the axial flux motor. The axial flux motor, unlike the radial flux motor, its axis of rotation is parallel to its magnetic flux. Now, this motor is able to provide 96% of efficiency versus the radial, which is 80% efficient. It was William Mitchell who stated that an electric vehicle doesn't necessarily need an engine, but rather we can look at the avenue of putting these axial flux motor within the hubs and the wheel of a vehicle, thus making these wheels intelligent. This motor will revolutionize the way how we travel. It will revolutionize the way how we do business because it will be in the industry. It will revolutionize the appliances we have in our homes because it will run our refrigerator, it will run our fans, and yes, it will be in every appliance that motor is in in our, in our home. My friend, why won't you join this opportunity? Why won't you join this venture? Come on board with Eltec Company Limited. Hey everyone, can I get the vibes check? If you're happy, you know you clap your hands. <laughs> awesome. My name is Dennis Eccleston. I am the CEO and founder of iPower. We are a charge solution company that offers world-class products and services. And our vision is to be the brand of choice for charge mobility for the Caribbean and globally. We're the Caribbean's first mobile e-mobility charge solution. EVAR is one of our counterparts in Japan and they already have the technology that we're trying to introduce in Jamaica. So after this, in our exhibition, we show you what our app can do to book your charge on the go. As you can see, charge on the go. That's Nicole and Goodness, by the way, by the way. All broken down on the highway, no charge. <laughs> that is iPod rescuing her right there, so she can continue her vacation. Goodness getting the good stuff, right? electricity and there we go but has got a charge but is ready to go and continue her vacation but good as the size shall go back to kingston now i try to get depleted on the way again 
So she reads Kingston Charge Lupita, she can't go work tomorrow. She's hitting us up on iPhone so that she can get charged for work tomorrow. We Gia tagged her. We're on our way to give her another charge so that she can go to work tomorrow. Buddha's gonna run again. <laughs> we are Ipo. Make we see of the good as them. Thank you. Such a great opportunity to be here. Thanks to JPS Foundation, um, IDB, everyone for making this possible. Today I'm presenting um, Light Electric Vehicles. Um, yes, the name of my company is Gizmo's Computer Support and Services. And to make this possible, I will be partnering, partnering with the High Voltage team. We are trying to really take part in the e-mobility transition, right? We don't want to be left behind here in the Caribbean. I saw this happening a little bit, you know, right around when um, COVID was coming around, built the first e-bike, um, joined the community. We have other um, people like you who are a part of the community. They teach me tidbits here and there. And of course, this is what the first bike looked like. Very, very crude. You can see the, you know? And um, of course, they did tell me to grease the motor um, with proper grease. And then from there, moved on did some waterproofing exercises and here we are present day and this is the idea that i'm looking to build on essentially provide e-bikes for rental to tourists as well as providing regular bicycles to the everyday man Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Yui. Good afternoon. Oh, it's so silent in here. Am I supposed to be nervous? No? <laughs> okay, I'm Alex Russell. I'm founder of Undergo Auto Repairs and our solution to what I've seen on a daily basis. And, well, on a daily basis, I realize, well, I used to work in the call center where I do anywhere between nine to 11 hours. I was trying to figure out how I could get a technician or a mechanic to repair my vehicle when it's not being used. This was very difficult for me. So I figured that I needed to solve this problem because I've been to first world countries and I realized this is a solution that almost everybody does. And if you don't have a lot of money to afford like Toyota Jamaica to come pick up the vehicle, bring it to the shop, fix it, bring it back, and that doesn't happen in a day, then you're stuck waiting on the vehicle to go bad where you have to take a taxi and leave it at the mechanic. And then it's so stressful. It's now 15 hours to work and back, 12 for working, and you know the rest. So on the go auto repairs, what we're really here to do is revolutionize this part of the transport sector. What we want to do is, well, what we're already doing, you would go to our booking page, you make a booking, choose a date and time, we give you a call, we find out what is it exactly that you need, find out when the vehicle is available that you're not using it, we do the repairs that you want, we specialize in hybrid and electric vehicles real soon for electric vehicles, but we also cover the regular standard gas vehicles. So um, we really want to cover everybody. We want to let everyone understand the difference between electric, hybrid, and gas vehicles so that they can make an informed choice. So now you'll have more options as to what vehicle you would prefer to have and more options as to who repairs it. We also train our staff as it relates to customer service, our staff also needs to educate you to let you know something about your vehicle so that you can make life easier moving along. Everybody dance on. 
I just got a quick electric slide. So I do have a hot fit. Catch you out, you see me? <laughs> All right, so. Thanks for having me. James Portius, Electric Classic Cars. The umbrella company is called Jamstar Motors. And I'd like to welcome you to the future. So, with that said, 2022, we all should have been electric by now. Should have been on our hoverboards like Marty McFly, but that's another time we'll talk about that. Welcome to Project Sunrise. That's a 1992 Land Rover Defender County Station Wagon 110. For those of you who don't know what it is, it's a dream. It's the best car in the world. So what is Project Sunrise? Project Sunrise, Sunrise is like a rebirth. Every 24 hours the sun come up, but the sun will never set on this one. Quick run through what a Land Rover Defender is. It's one of the most recognizable and collectible cars in the world, but they're not very reliable. So what I'm about to do is make it more reliable, more affordable to drive. And I like to say this, I've told people all the time, I like to ask you, does anybody in here want their money to stretch like an athlete at a track meet? Talk to me outside. As engineering students here, I'm sure you can appreciate what I've done here is like, show you some little things that's going on. It looks simple, but engineers are always like grieve and people are like, but that's easy, man. But they don't know what you put into your work. So there's a lot of work is gonna go into this. So what will the vehicle look like when it's done? This, can anybody tell that this is electric? You can't, and that's the beauty of it. You'll be driving around in something like this. Somebody drive up beside you, vroom, vroom in them V8, and they think them can test you, then you put your foot down and boom, you're in the future, they're in the past. A lot of people don't know that electric mobility is actually critical to energy security. JPS, listen up, this one's for you. So besides the impact of the environment, yes, there are advantages of converting. So with my conversion, we'll be offering bi-directional charging. So we had a hurricane, well, thankfully we didn't have it, we just had the outer bands. But if you lost power during that time, if you had an electric vehicle, this would have been your savior because then you could pull power from it. The conversion that we're doing will have 85 kilowatt hours of storage, battery power. You can plug in a fridge, you can run your house on it for a couple of days, depending on how much load you have in there. Thank you for watching. With only one episode left in our series, we want to hear from you. The voting is now open for you to select the People's Choice Top Innovator. Click the link in our Instagram bio to vote. Be sure to come back next week to see who received the highest votes and who will earn the title of eDrive Innovation Challenge Top Innovator from our judges.